the first question, introduce yourself, who you are, where you come from, how old are you? Hmm? Okay, I'm Blake Fernandes, 20 years old, from the south coast of Australia, just travelling, pitching around, heading north. Okay. Do you smoke weed? Yeah. <laughs> Why? I guess maybe social reasons at the beginning and then, uh, I don't know, for fun and uh, for experience. Yeah. yeah. Change your state of mind. And what is your job here or you're only traveling now? Busking. Busking? Yeah, occasionally. I lost my guitar a couple of days ago. Really? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's not good. But yeah. And do you want to improve your life standard? My life standard? <clears throat> no. No? No. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's nice. really great. Yeah. Okay. And what do you think about religion? You're a religion person? Yeah, I yeah. believe in religion. What do I think of it? Oh, okay. Yeah, what do you think about religion? I think it. Yeah, it's very ancient. It has a lot to say about everything. And so it's good to be open to all religions. Not to follow one yeah. thing and say one thing's right and one thing's wrong. But I would love to learn more. Okay, and tell me about the best moment in your life. Best moment? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe when I um, first heard this band, Cigarettes, you know the band Cigarettes? No. And they changed my life. I don't know if it's the best moment in my life, but it changed my life. Okay. Because it's just perfect. I was always looking for something perfect. Yeah. I didn't think it existed. Uh, most people don't think it existed, but this band is perfect for me, it's perfection. Okay. And would you say you're an optimistic person? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, try to be. <laughs> try to be. Why? Why, why do I try to be? Yeah, why you try to be an optimistic person? Because, because good things happen. Bad, bad things happen too. And then good things happen. Yeah. And uh, are you believe in love? Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's like it's like going back to religion. It's, it's like religion is like a connection with everything. This real thing that is real, but you can't see it. It's a like one thing yeah. connecting everything. Okay, and who is the most important person in your life? Hmm. Either me or the person in front of me that I'm talking to. Should be. <laughs> and where you want to go in this world? Which places you want to see? New Zealand? More of Australia. Tasmania, Iceland, Hawaii, France, yeah. wander around Europe, yeah. <laughs> Lots. India, India, and China, yeah. China, yeah. And what was the best place you had sex? On top of a waterfall. Mm. All night. To stop the rain. Yeah. It was gonna rain. It's 100% gonna rain. It's thunder. <laughs> we stopped the rain. I was on top of the water. Yeah. Not too long ago. <laughs> and what do you think about the television program in your home country here in Australia? The whole thing? Yeah, the whole television, all the stuff that they bring. Well, I stopped watching television maybe three years ago completely. Yeah. 
so I don't know, I really just ignore it. Are we going to wash our feet or are we okay to walk on your feet? Thing, I don't have much really thoughts about it, I don't even think about it. <laughs> That's good, <laughs> man. It doesn't really part of anything, yeah. yeah. And what would you regret the must not have done if you die now? I died now. Yeah. That's my biggest regret. Yeah. My whole life. That you don't do. That I didn't do? Yeah, that didn't do, yeah. Hmm. Wow, that's a big question. That's a big one. Biggest regret ever. If I died. Something that I didn't do before I died. Maybe it would be nice to die if I was going to the now, to go home, see everyone first, and just talk to my family, just tell them about what I've been doing for the last like, five months, and then die. Yeah. Instead of just, because it's just I've sort of wandered up and I'm doing those things and had a contact for a while. Yeah, and there's a lot of things that are probably like, be good to come back to and to talk to some people and like, this is what's happened. I haven't talked to some people in heaps, like a couple of years, but maybe I should just it'd be good to see and talk to them before I die. Yeah. And what do you think happens after the death? Gives the life after the death? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think it's a good thing. I think death's a good thing. It's not scary. But I'm not certain what it's going to be about this. So I think it's a good thing. Yeah. It's definitely the beginning, because any death is the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the last question is, uh, tell me your loveliest quote, uh, sentence that you have. Oh, that's a good one. Um, I don't have one, everyone has one. I bet you get really like, lots of quick answers to this one. Not really? One. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I can't even give one. I don't know. Something simple. Something simple that Bob Marley or one of the Beatles said. Something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> one of those ones. They always have good ones. Yeah, something simple, it's a good time. Something simple. Yeah. <laughs> That's the interview. Woo! Thank you. That's so good. <laughs> wow.